Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can create left navigation in your Power Apps with the help of component. As you can see, I have this uh, Power Apps applications and here I have a left navigation. If I click on any of the menu item, it will redirect me to that particular screen and it will fit up the color of that particular menu item with this uh, white bar next to it, just showcasing that in which menu item screen we are. Before going ahead, uh, just a few things about components. Components are nothing but just reusable building blocks. You create them once in your components or you can create them into a component library as well and then reuse them into multiple screen. So like you can see in my screen one and two, I have used the reference of this component and all the functionality of this component will be inherited to this particular screen. But the important point to notice is that it is not copying all the controls and gallery that I have used inside the component to my screen. It's just referencing that one and that is the advantage of using component. Create once, use it multiple times. It will increase your app efficiency and also will give a unique branding to your applications as well. So let's just talk about how we can build this. So before going ahead, I will remove these uh, component reference uh, from all of the screens. Removed all the reference and now we'll go to the component and create a new component here. I will uh, name it uh, left now demo. Okay. And uh, first thing what I'm going to do is uh, the width I'm going to set is like 150 because we need it and height I'm going to set 768, which is my app height. If you have to check that go to the setting display there you see size select custom you will see the height okay and inside this uh, component i'm going to insert a gallery that is uh, a blank vertical gallery okay and uh, what i'm going to do with this gallery is i'm going to select the x position of this gallery to zero and y position is also zero width i'm going to set parent dot width that means the component and height also will be parent dot height and uh, this uh, show scroll bar disable it for this left navigations component there is custom property i'll go to the custom property i'll say menu items copy this description will be the menu there is two type of property input and output input uh, is basically to receive something and uh, i'm going to select this as a table click on create once you click on this menu item it will uh, take you to the menu items input property and there is it has given us a sample already a table sample what i'm going to do is i'm going to say menu text okay second will be menu icon and uh, third will be navigate to screen we navigate to screen and uh, the menu text will be the first text i'm going to set as i have home menu icon will be icon dot home and uh, navigate to screen I'm going to reference directly the screen name. As you can see, I have screen one, two, three, four, five. So here I'm going to say when I click on, uh, okay, this like home and when I click on home, it uh, should redirect me to the screen one. That's it. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is copy this put a comma separator and like paste this multiple times and now home. Here I'm going to say add and the icon in the case of add will be add icon redirect to screen 2 and the third will be like my request screen third will be my request here I'm going to say icon dot uh, maybe document and it will redirect to screen three. Fourth one will be all request menu. 
and the icon will be document uh, with content and the screen will be screen 4. Now what we will do is we'll go to our gallery. So as you know that in gallery we have to provide a data source. So as you can see there is an option of tables and you can put SharePoint list anything you can put. If you go to the items property of this gallery here you have custom gallery option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my component that is left nav demo as you can see here and dot the input property that we created menu items. When you select this you will see that table will be loaded. All right. Now to reference these columns name inside your gallery for that we have to edit the gallery and add some controls here. So I'll add a text label. I will add an icon like I can select any icon right now and then I'm going to select a rectangle and then I'm going to select one more that is a button and I'll showcase you why I'm doing this. So inside a gallery select shift and then select all these control and set the X property of these one to parent dot X means whatever the gallery to X property and Y also will be parent dot Y. Okay. And uh, third thing I'm going to select is height will be gallery two dot template height. So that means whatever this gallery template height, it will select the height of that gallery template. Now uncheck this and go to the button first and in the button go to the width property of the button. Okay. So select parent dot width this time. So we need full width button. Okay. Before going ahead, this gallery had some template padding. I'm going to reduce that to zero. So now it's fit to screen and this button has a full width. So what I'm going to do is I will go to the color property and I will select transparent and then we have a rectangle. So the width of this rectangle will be like four. Okay. And it will be kind of white all the time. Okay. So this is white. That's fine. So if we go to the uh, icon and I have an icon property maybe. So as you can see this I have icon dot add. So what I can do is this item dot menu icon because we have created that in our table with the name of menu icon and name is given. So whenever it select this item dot menu icon you will see it will create those icons for different menu items. Same things with uh, this label uh, the text property maybe of this item dot menu text. So the X position of the label three will be icon two dot width. Okay. And the width property will be parent dot width minus icon two dot width. And now you will see it fit into the screen. Okay. And now go to this button. And uh, as you can see, it's a little bit hazy. So I'll remove this text that is written for this button. And I will see it's clear now. If we go to the gallery and then there is the template size. I can just remove this and I can just uh, simply set this to 80. So now you'll see that my navigations looks better. So maybe I can set this to 90. Okay. And uh, that's it. And if I go to the icon, icon width, maybe I can set to 40. Okay. Left now and fill the color. That will be custom color. Fit this one. Let's look good. And button is transparent for us. Rectangle will be white. Icon. So the icon color will be white all the times. That's fine. And label text will be also 
uh, I can set it to white again. So it's up to you how you want to set that up. All right. The next thing is gallery on select property. What I'm going to do is navigate navigate where navigate to this component navigate to screen okay navigate to this item dot navigate to screen so for that particular item screen so that means if you go here in your component navigate to screen where screen one it will if i click on home it will navigate to screen one add screen two that way there is one more property that is a template fill so that is basically uh, what i'm going to say is put a condition that is if this item dot navigate to screen is equal to app dot active screen in that case i can select something called color dot black else color dot red maybe orange red that's it okay so as you can see it has implemented the color so just uh, be there what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my previous component gallery and uh, from there i'm going to select the color scheme because that's what exactly we want to build so what you have to do is uh, in the template fill of the gallery you have to just uh, reduce these color with these num so what this will do is if this item dot navigate to screen so that means navigate to screen is what is basically our this one if this item dot navigate to screen so let's suppose there's screen one and app dot active screen is also screen one then it will change the color to this particular color else it will keep the color this one so that means if we go to our any of the screen and uh, try to insert a component by going into custom select the left nav demo component insert left nav demo here as well so now you'll see if i if i'm into screen one it's screen one if in screen two it's screen two and there is few things we have to do that is uh the best button property i will go and select the hover property the first will be pressed fill and in the pressed fill i'm going to select gallery 2 dot fill that is thing and also the hover property somewhere hover fill will be gallery 2 dot fill that's it now if we go here you will see that uh, on uh, hover functionality changed and this will work fine for you and you can see there is uh, this white label that we have included so what we have to do is if we go to the components again and the gallery template fill whatever we have put in here copy this go to this rectangle when then go to the visible property of this one when should this be visible remove this and set it true and set it false so what we are saying it uh, this item dot navigate to screen is equal to app dot active screen then true means make it visible otherwise uh, keep it hidden so now if we go here run this you will see it is only visible to that active screen okay so that way you can pretty much uh, do this and next thing what we're going to do is we're going to add this component into all of our screen so go to the left nav demo here as well and go here left nav demo here as well and insert left nav demo and now if we run this you will see 
If I click on home, it navigates me to screen one. If I click on add, it navigates me to screen two. If I click on my request, screen three, all request screen four. And anytime you want to add a uh, one more item inside this component, just go to this component, go to the menu items input control that you have already created a table, just copy and paste. And you can just, you know, put the name of your menu text. So let's suppose in this case, I will say export and okay. So here we didn't have that uh, comma separator. And then uh, icon I'm going to say is icon dot download. Download and screen where it should redirect screen five. So as soon as I do this, go to my screen, run it. If we go to the export one now, you will see it's redirecting me to the screen five. Screen four, three, two and one. So that's nice and easy. Uh, you can create the similar kind of, uh, you know, navigations, left navigation, stop navigations, any kind of navigations you want to create or header folder you want to create with the help of component. And uh, in case you want to add a separator to this uh, navigations, what you can do is get to the gallery, edit this, insert. You can add a, one more rectangle and uh, again set the X position to parent dot X position I'm going to not set because I need it into the bottom. So what I will do is maybe I will just create it like this. Okay. And uh, this way and height I will set this to two or maybe I will set the height one and uh, background I'm going to set this is to around dark gray. So with will this. Okay, and uh, that's all you have to do. And if we go to the screen, you will see there is nice separator between your, uh, you know, menu items and uh, this looks uh, perfectly fine. You can add transitions as well to your uh, nav menu. So that's uh, the separate things. But the idea was to create a component that should be easy to use, easy to create and reusable as well. I hope you like this video. If you do like, don't forget to subscribe to Tech. Thank you so much for watching.